turning dreams into reality In the lab with the formula and chemistry The memories spark and motivate And make the industry shake We put the bars in the place I'm talking one One chance at best, yes Painting pictures for the culture Keep the brushes fresh Throw the ball one shot Now the future is yours Go! What's up guys, today um, we're gonna do another tutorial, um, uh, I've got just uh, this information from one of uh, my followers on Instagram, on my new Instagram account uh, that uh, is dedicated to filmmaking only uh, part of my uh, activity, uh, that it will be quite nice if I show you guys how do I make my setup on two monitors with DaVinci Resolve 16. So let's do this and hope you like uh, this video and I hope this will be somehow um, informative and uh, just fun. So let's get into it. So uh, before we start with the DaVinci, I will close this uh, this window and I will show you uh, how do I set up my uh, my monitors uh, for this one this is the the old uh, ASO monitor with I believe one oh let's just let's just see monitors and this is uh, 1680 by uh, 1050 22 inches uh, so this monitor, let's just go right here and placement and this this is my main uh, screen from this laptop and this is my external monitor uh, which is put to standard uh, settings. I'm not messing anything with these settings. Uh, I only need to make sure that this monitor is placed above above my uh, main monitor to not be to not to be confused when I hit the upper uh, edge of my uh, laptop monitor I go straight to my uh, upper monitor and this is a very convenient way to to make things uh, although if you have uh, monitors side by side you can change arrangement and make this uh, just like like that okay so we will try to I don't know if this will be possible with screen recording but we will see uh, you have to fire up the, the DaVinci Resolve go to workspace dual screen and make sure that this is on and if you do this like that uh, you will have split screen and my setting is to have primary display as display one this is the, the primary display and here you can choose to full screen timeline and this will have only timeline here and every other window will be on the separate monitor I prefer to have this way that I have uh, timeline right here on the bottom one and you have uh, inspector right here and on the other screen you will have smart bins and a mixer and all the metadata uh, laid out just fine uh, I think it's not recording the external monitor so I will have to uh, provide you with uh, extra footage uh, explaining what, what I've done uh, exactly uh, because this monitor is just grayed out a little bit but you, you get the point that I'm making that this is only on the workspace uh, tab dual screen on and you have to you, you can change uh, oh, you have uh, uh, the exact swap uh, of the screen so this previously was on my upper screen 
and now it's on my uh, lower screen and on my upper screen I have timeline and uh, the monitors and the inspector so this is just to switch between two screens you can you can switch this right there and I will show you from a full screen timeline mode that will be just like that if you have more than one uh, more than two monitors it's uh, it's very convenient to have this uh, extra real estate of uh, uh, on your timeline and to split the view from the upper monitor to uh, one to show you the the inspector only uh, and monitors and the other one to show you only the um, position uh, okay let's show you the the exact opposite of that so we'll change yeah so you have uh, bins right here metadata from uh, from the footage and the um, the monitors and the, the inspector right right here okay so let's change this to default oh sorry let's change it to default and to yeah so uh, this is it. Uh, okay, uh, I want to keep it short. So this is the, the very basic uh, thing from the workspace uh, tab. Uh, hope you like this video. And uh, if you like this video, please hit the like button. If you love this video, please do subscribe and check the notification bell for more uh, to come with the next uploads. Mm. I believe that this this might be a little series of tutorials about DaVinci Resolve and my personal workflow uh, in this um, this uh, piece of software. Uh, I want you to know that I I'm using the free version, uh, so everything that I sh I will show you uh, with this uh, piece of software is uh, totally free and you can. Uh, jump right in. Uh, I will do. Uh, I will make sure that you will find the link in the description down below to uh, download this uh, the software. Uh, this is it from me. Uh, I will see you in the next one. Bye.